and successful people sometimes can get a bad name, not just real estate agents or salespeople. So yeah. Why do you think that is? Why why is money like such a bad thing? I, I it really I think it goes back to the way that we were all taught, you know, just what's normal and you know, I, looking into this, I believe that the children of you know very financially successful families generally get taught differently about about money than yeah. pretty much everyone else, and that's just because their parents know better. And I think so. At the end of the day, I think it really all comes down to the pa- the parents. But beyond that, it's like the parents are probably going to do what the societal norm is, especially if they're from a pretty um, average or you know middle class background or whatever. Um, but I, I think I think the viewpoints on money is negative just because of you know how everyone was taught, and it's kind of to me it's like a perpetuating thing. It's like okay. Um, if we grow up like that, then guess, you know, what, what are our kids going to learn eventually one day is kind of like, you know, perpetuates itself over the generations. But, um, like to me, it's just like, I, I think the middle class, like middle class values, which I guess you could probably classify a, a bulk of the population with that, um, to some extent, depending on how you define that. But, um, it seems like the middle class values are not conducive towards building wealth. No, they're not. Um, if, they, if, they anything, <laughs> if anything, the exact opposite. Yep. Like, it's, oh yeah, exact opposite. Like, okay, going back to the whole money thing, it's like, uh, what's what's what would you say the typical middle class perspective is on money? Well, they see it as a bad thing. They see this it it's like a scarce thing. Yeah, and scarcity. Wealthy people. They think there's an endless supply, which there is. I yes. mean, there's enough money circulating in the economy to make everyone a multi multi millionaire. Mm-hmm. You know, so who's got it? You know, you got to figure that out. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think that's an important uh, distinction. So, uh, middle class value money is bad, scarcity, probably that if someone has a lot of money, they probably didn't get it through legitimate means, right? Yeah, they have, yeah, they always attach it to negative things. And I think, personally, I think they're creating excuses mm-hmm. to justify why they can't make any money themselves. And so they attribute successful people, oh, they must have done something shady or crooked. And, and that's how they created their wealth. But I don't know. I, I think the shocking truth is that successful people work harder, less lazy. Um, they have big goals. They never stop persisting. And they're very positive people positive minded they'd have to be yeah so I, I I guess what it comes down to is you know the, the this is almost like all ties together with the whole schooling thing and and even the topic of money now mm-hmm. like the what we're taught about you know just from coming from a middle class perspective what we're taught about school what we're taught about money um, Especially money, I think that's something you could pretty much prove if you really looked at all the data behind this. But, um, you know, on, on the whole point on, on money is a bad thing or money is, you know, the people who have it aren't legitimate or didn't do mm-hmm. anything good to get it. I think you would like it if you pulled the, the data on that. I know for a fact you will find that that's not true. Exactly. And actually the complete opposite of that yeah. is true. Um, that the people who have the most money... Um, one, they got through legitimate means, most of them, most vast of majority. Vast majority. Um, two, that they actually did provide a lot of value and help a lot of people to get it. Of course. And, you know, not the opposite of that. So I think uh, what this all comes down to is if you're coming from a middle class background, you know, what your parents taught you, what you learned growing up just from society, even though best intentions in the world, yeah. uh, it's wrong. It's wrong, yeah. And, uh, you know, being an individual, an intelligent individual, as you are watching this, um, you need to learn to question things. You need to learn to make your own decision on 
what the what the fact of the matter is when it comes to these things in your life because these are very important topics especially when it comes to money if you have the wrong mentality on money you can't attract money into your life yeah. if you believe uh, that money is scarce you will always find scarcity in your life and if yeah. there ever comes a time where you have an abundance of money that comes onto you for some lucky reason which it probably won't but if it does i guarantee you, you will not keep it because you have a scarcity mindset because if you have a scarcity mindset you absolutely cannot keep money it's impossible you'll you'll find a way to go back to the place you're comfortable with which is scarcity as, yeah. as weird as that sounds uh, i promise you so it's very important to you know really really consider this in your life and consider if if money actually is scarce and if it's really a bad thing because um i don't think it is i, I think it, more than anything money you know whether it ends up being used for good or bad it comes down to the person and who they actually are who's behind it money itself is neutral money doesn't care it's not positive it's not negative if anything i would even argue that it is positive because of the amount of good that it can do uh in the right hands yeah but it's neutral i like what you what you said about not being afraid to challenge i mean i think the vast majority of parents they they offer great parenting and they do that with with good intention mm -hmm. but the advice they they give i mean let's face it my parents if if i if, if i listen to everything they told me i would end up in their shoes they can only teach me of what they know and what they know is not what i would like to accomplish yeah, exactly. So I, I had uh, there's a there's a certain point where I I drew the line and, and I I stopped seeking their advice, particular on particularly on finances. Because mm -hmm. most of their advice is always just save it, but or buy a house, you know, <laughs> which I don't plan to do. So yeah, yeah. Maybe when I have a family.